Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Forgetful Trainer here, Frosty from Frosty and Adventures. And welcome to the third episode video part <laughs> of this Pokemon Conquest Imperial playthrough. Yeah. So if you missed the previous video, you should definitely go check it out. Uh, did a little bit of grinding before this recording. So I can try to get some mods up. So just, you know, this is what I got. Level up. Also was able to acquire some more grass trainers. I got a Trico. Oh, hold on. Let me show y'all this first. Hold on. Yeah. I got really lucky with this one. I managed to find a uh, Terramato, Terramato, which has a 100% link with the Patilli. So, this thing's definitely come with me for a good while. And I also got a Bulbasaur, which I'm guessing is a custom sprite. And the Nuzzle. Well, actually, no, I already had the Nuzzle. But I got the Trico! Only 70%. 70 um, so I was looking at this corn, but it's not, I was like, take Cornivine. Carnivine, and it's stuck at 28. Like, so, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be using that until I, you know, I, I gain the ability to, what is it, find other Pokemon. So, yeah, let's, let's try to take out Fountain. I don't know how well it's going to go based on, uh, what I already know about the, the stage, but let's see what happens. Fountain's home to lots of water type Pokemon. Fire type Pokemon might find it hard. So grass type and electric type Pokemon should be really useful. Alright, so obviously I am going to bring you know, these two because they're our strongest. So a big problem that I have, that's not bringing the ugly kid, that I have right now is the Duwat that Motochika has has no water moves. It has bug. So I could potentially bring this Ekans and maybe not die by it? I don't know. It might take a while. And for reinforcements, I'm gonna go to Aurora and definitely bring in this Patelli. Patelli, whatever. And I wanted to bring the Venusaur because it has Celebrate. But I know this this fella has that high attack though. Well, has Leaf Storm. It, it'll be helpful for like a one hit of Quitter and disappear and on top of that I got the warrior skill that increases allies defense. But I'm trying to think. I know Bulbasaur is gonna be very weak to these levels. But then it's the one hit of quitter that, that might, you know, throw me off. Let's do it. First thing I need to do is go for that Jatini. That Jatini gotta go. It definitely has to go. Because it has Dragon Rage. If you've seen the previous video, I went over their, you know, intel on them in game, and they're, they're kind of broken. You wish to challenge me in battle. And what might your name be? So you are daddy. I heard that Aurora had a new warlord. But I always thought that we could meet on the battlefield in Aurora. Not here. Well, never mind. Battle's a battle, no matter where it takes place. Plan, Daddy. Defeat is only 
a matter of time unless you do something. Uh, let's look at y'all. Oh, wow. Okay, Muddy Water can hit far. So, if I touch this button, this thing could potentially hit me. It is two in front, and then it attacks. So, if it goes right here, then it's going to be... Oh, okay, actually, no. It'll, it'll attack right here, so I'll, I'll be fine to turn that off. Um... Brian. Oh! I just realized something. Actually, no. I was gonna say I think I could track him, but no, I can't. And Dragon Rage hits two spots. Ugh. I wanna shut off that switch. Yeah, shut that off. Thank you for shutting it off for me. Uh, which, which frog of deer's distance? Uh, two in front. So you can go right here. So you can attack here and here. Uh... Oh, I think I just screwed myself by putting him there. Okay, how much you gonna do on Jiggly? 16? I think I can risk that. I, I still have to heal in a bit the sweet song. And I missed. Come on. Come on. Mother Nature. Up. 
that Dratini's gonna hurt. Goodness, it's not even stat. Oh, it had a power wristband. Okay. What? Oh, this is bullcrap. They had a potion. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh, please don't kill Jizzly. Oh my goodness. Tratini gotta go. Could potentially take out this from fro Froggator. From Frog. Ah, guy, I'm good. <laughs> Frogadier. There we go. Not hit off. Dang it! I needed that. I really need that thing to die. Um. Hit, hit the frog of air. Thank you. Good attack buff. Please miss. It did not miss. Oh, goodness. And now... Uh, Duat's gonna go across the water and kill somebody. Or Celia. Crap, 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 crap. Miss. Oh, thank goodness. Sucks the accuracy just went down. Let kid, man. At least try to take out the teeny. Killing me. If I do hit, it'll be amazing. 
Come on, 96, 96. Come on, take it out. Take it out, take it out. I don't know what I was scared of. Oh, yeah, the Jatini. That's what I was scared of. Oh, actually, go right here. Aw oh, man. Okay, Jatini's gonna is going to kill uh Carnivine. I should have just uh Giga Drained on the Jatini and hope that it would have got a crit. I mean, not the biggest threat, but I got the the biggest threat to my grass types away. The the, the duot, so that's fine. Oh, you're not gonna take out the carnivine? Oh, you can't get near it because of the frog in there. Uh, okay. Turn you ice. Oh, actually, no, this turn. Bye bye. Evie, Evie finally got full action. <laughs> okay, that was that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna go. It honestly was not as bad as I thought it was gonna go. I mean, it sucked that like I had Ellie Kid, you know, to do majority of the fight and then it went and it died. But yeah, that 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 was on me. That was on me. That was poor planning. Eat these with ease. Ooh, and I got the Frogadier. Okay. I mean, I would have loved to have the Zatini. The, that Zatini would have been beautiful to have. Because a good amount of the random NPCs that we find in the, in the different areas, they health is less than 40 sometimes anyway. I mean, accuracy for Dragon Rage is probably kind of low, to be honest, because it missed a good amount of times. You on fair and scare. I said scare. Square. <laughs> Kingdom of Faltaine is yours. But, even though the my castle is lost, my Pokemon will never leave me. I mean, we never ask for your Pokemon to leave you. Today, we will continue to resist the tides of fate. Hell yeah, I'm taking this frog of air. That frightened ability is actually pretty decent. Select the buzz uh, cry in the cartoons in the, in the show. 
in the anime. Watch the English version of of original Gotta uh, Gotta Catch 'Em All Pokemon. You'll you you'll, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. It, it's the the fight. Be- I think it's called be- the battle between two clans or something like that with uh the Scythe clan and the Electabuzz clan. W- watch that episode. You'll understand. What- <laughs> That will forever be Electabuzz Cry. Yo, I would love if there's a fan game out there that replaces Electabuzz Cry with that sound effect. That would be freaking hilarious. I will be in tears. I will mainly use only freaking Electabuzz if that was in a game. Oh, Lord. Congratulations. You've heard the stories too, haven't you? The legendary Pokemon who is said to appear before the one who conquers all the kingdoms. The truth is that, right now, Rensai is on the brink of destruction. Destruction. I said destruction. Destruction. Far to the north of Aurora, a certain warlord had set out on the road to conquest. His name was Nobudaga. His stated aim was to conquer all of the kingdoms and destroy Rensai. If Nobunaga is trying to destroy Ronsai, he probably wants to use the power of the legendary Pokemon to do so. So, I think we should find this legendary Pokemon before Nobunaga does. That way we can save Ronsai. Luckily, Nobunaga's reach doesn't extend this far south yet. Pugilus, Violite, and Cresselia are the three kingdoms that are nearest to us. Each of their warlords is famed far and wide for their courage and strength. If we can get them to join us, our army would be truly formidable. All right, time for some intel. Oh, I see a Ma champ. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's an Electrovire over there. Let's, let's do a little intel, shall we? Okay, what do you have? Hammer on. Slows the user down at casting. Restores HP and raises attack rate as well. Insurance, Mountaineer, Rock Slide, EXPLODE! The Pokemon explodes upon faint and inflicting damage on those nearby. What's the radius for it, though? I mean, I could potentially, like, monster this thing with Carnivine, to be completely honest. Frost Chop. Okay. And it has guts. And then Bolt Tackle. Okay. It has Static. This is my chance to definitely cuss. <laughs> oh man. Alright. This is this interesting. A little interesting. What, what, what do I have? Hold on. 100%. Right. Uh, you have Mighty Blow and an Iron Brace. Uh, Hyper Potion. Oh my goodness. Top speed, iron puff, uh, impact. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Power puff, brotherhood, iron brace. Okay. Okay, I can't even get to. Uh, eh, we can still look at it. Is that a Yanma? That is a Yanma. Okay. And you have a hundred percent link with it. Deep breath. Stores HP cannot move for three turns. Okay. Warfan claims it makes moves considerably more powerful. And you have Struggle Bug. Lowers their attack. And then Interference reduces act. Oh yeah, you're gonna be annoying. Okay, extra drill. Drill run. Okay, 
this this group's interesting. Let's try. You have Ice Beam and Frighten. I don't like that you have Frighten. Uh, X Scissors and Jagged Edge. Contact Full Mind puts damage on the attacker. The only custom one here is uh, Yanla, I think. I don't remember this image for Lalian, but yeah. Um, Twin Needles and Vanguard. Shift the attack carry out of the start of the turn. Okay. That's a whole. Okay. And let's see what's happening. I see an Ivysaur. Okay. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna get difficult. A lot more difficult. Okay, Luxio has Crunch. Okay. Uh Staravia has Intimidate and Air Cutter. They both got Intimidate. Okay. Well, I'm not oh wow. 185. Wow. Um actually you know what? I'm not too worried about that. I have two mons that have Mud Shot. So I, I could I could take care of this guy. Uh, Electroweb and Celebrate. Alright, Pikachu. Ivysaur has Sludge Ball. Huh. I'm not looking forward for my Bulbasaur to evolve now. I, I was hoping it would have kept a grass move, but it's gonna get Sludge Ball. Which isn't gonna help me, uh, currently. And then you have Bolt and Volt Absorb. Huh. Wow. Uh, it, mm. Okay, so this one's gonna have me thinking. It's, it's definitely gonna have me thinking. Uh, part of me kinda want to attack uh, Violite with Genshio and um, Minoshige. Okay, they seem like the easiest one to deal with. Because... Yeah, 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 because I want to see if I can get Monoshige and get that Star that star Raptor to help me with this. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, that, that seems doable. All right, well, either or, this is now the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're brand new. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I go live. Or, not live, but upload. And until next time, hugs, kisses, and sugar cookies. Deuces.